So this is how, basically, to rob a bank. <laughs> well, now you press star and I'll press start. Okay, so you gotta gently pull it out. There we go. Okay, okay. Now, now unlatch this, and then it should open up. Look at that! Opened up. Cool. All right. So the bar. See the bar right here. See the bar? It's yeah. been. It's not. It's not. It's not locked anymore. Okay. Here we go. Yeah. So we're gonna provide. I'm gonna provide an update on the uh, the fast safe uh, decoder video that was a while back. So now it's mounted on a on a piece of wood plate here. It has the little screens and buttons on it. Um, everything's kind of mounted well, and it's really just set up to uh, to decode um, the Sparrow's uh, combination safe box here. Um, so I think what I was going to do is describe how it works by describing it to, to Jasper here. How old are you? Seven. Seven. Okay. So let's look at how this works. So in here, this is this is like a safe that you'd find on a big like uh, safe in a bank where they protect the money. Um, and this safe has a spin dial. It's, it's, it's open right now so it doesn't spin freely. Uh, but let me show you what's happening inside because you have to spin this for it to work. So what we're going to do is first open this guy up and I'll show you what we're how this machine works and I'll try to explain it to you. So let's get the back plate off of it. So Ooh. this is just like 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 in like a like a little safe. Yeah, this is like a little safe, but this same combination would be on a big bank safe. Oh. And it has a dial, and nobody knows the combination to it, right? Yeah. Okay, so how this dial works is there's usually three numbers that you need to dial in with this dial. So this little arm right here needs to fall into the slots that are on the discs, and the arm will fall in more if the slots lined up. Okay, and then it makes like a click sound. Click, 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 click. Can you hear the click? Okay, so how this machine works here is that it has, it has a motor that turns on the front, okay? And the motor knows the position. And actually, let me, uh, let me turn it on and off again. Okay, now you see the front screen? I'll hold it up so then you can see it on the screen here. Now see, watch when I grab this. You see how it knows where this is? See, grab this and spin it. It's, it's, it's trying to hold its position, but see, it's moving. There we go, cool, huh? So, that, that, so what this thing does is it knows the position of this wheel, which means, okay, 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 you got it, you got it. <laughs> okay, so it knows the position, which matches the position on here. So whenever we put this up to the front of here, we need to make sure it's on zero, because that's on zero. And then this right here is a little microphone. And so the microphone can hear these clicks that we were talking about. Click, 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 click. And so whenever the arm can fall deeper into this little disc, that tells you that you're on the right number. So then it starts moving in different numbers? Yeah, well, it tests, it tests all the numbers and can see which which combination on the dial allows the arm to fall in more because if all these discs are aligned in here then you have the right combination so can we just spin spin it oh we can you can yeah yeah here we can just manually do it oh did we miss it let's go this way oh see yeah now whenever you turn the off turn this now whenever you turn the handle here, turn this, turn it that way. See how it like, pulls it in? Yeah, and keeps see, it up. See, see how that, what does that mean? So you want to randomize it a lot? 
Well, you just have different numbers on the different discs. How did they pull it? You can't. Well, it's locked. It's unlocked right now. See, and you're moving the arm. See how I move the arm? Oh, is that what's your? Now, do we want to do we want to set the code again? Yeah. Okay, let's close it up, and we'll have the machine. So this is how basically to rob a bank. <laughs> well. <laughs> just using, just making one of these mach giant machines, and then just. Well, yeah, you, well, you only need the little one if they have a dial, but um, a, lot of com a lot of companies might have electronic ones now, but this analog one's pretty cool. Okay, so you're going to lock it up and seal it for us and get it all set up, okay? So now it's, so we, this lick dash doesn't really matter, but you see how it's unlocked right now? Yeah. Okay, now try to, now spin this that way. Other way, other way. That way. Did you get it? Oh, yeah. It's gonna kind of randomize it here. Okay, now it's now it's locked, right? Yeah. Totally locked, and that latch is yep. That latch can be locked. Okay, so now is this one set up on zero? Yeah. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. We want it to be on zero. Now we want this to be on zero too. So set this to zero. Zero. And then we plug it in. And uh, we just this is just a pressure fit thing, so we just kind of mash it in there. There we go. So it's zero is zero on there. So and then now. wait, not yet, not yet, not yet. Remember, it needs the speaker, right? Because it needs yeah. to hear that click. So we need to get the speaker as close to the click sound as possible. And so, that's here. Yeah, somewhere on here. I, I think you know what would be hard on a big safe would be if it's really big, then the click sound you might not be able to hear it. So you might need to use like a stethoscope or something like that to hear it. Yeah. But this one you can hear it pretty well. So we put the click sound on here, and then we let it go. So here, let's uh, let's move it over here, and then no. we can uh, then we can let it let it rip. Okay. Here, you, now you press star, and I'll press start. Okay, so that's how the safe cracker works. Did you learn how to do it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So what we did was we used electronics and motors to solve a mechanical problem for us. Okay, is that pretty good? Yeah. Okay. All right. Thanks, everybody. Yeah. See you next video. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye.